Hi there, this is Shep Hyken, customer service speaker, expert, and business author. And on this video, I'm going to talk about a customer bill of rights. My friend Bates Childress sent me a gift. It's a brown paper bag, like you might get from any grocery store. But this bag is special. The bag comes from the Vermont Country Store, a bricks and mortar retailer, catalog company, and online e-tailer. And printed on the side of their shopping bag is the Vermont Country Store customer bill of rights. Now the first time I saw something similar to this bag was the City of Seattle, Washington's Customer Service Bill of Rights. It promised excellent customer service to their customers who happen to be the citizens of Seattle. Now while most customer bill of rights focus on an organization's obligation and promise to deliver a high level of customer service, the Vermont Country Stores is a little bit different. While this obviously showcases the outcomes that the customer should expect, it's really the obligation that the customer has to Vermont Country Store. This is important. It's a little twist on the concept. It's kind of a play on words, but it's powerful. The customers have an obligation and are expected to demand courteous customer service as a top priority. They're expected to take action by reporting any shortcomings. Here's what's printed on the side of the shopping bag that every customer leaves with. The heading is simply our customer bill of rights. To expect polite and courteous service. To be the top priority of the moment. To expect all salespeople to know about their merchandise. To expect quality merchandise, service, or delivery. And to report any shortcomings. To complement superior quality of service and merchandise. To expect the Vermont Country Store to stand behind its merchandise. To expect any adjustments in the merchandise to be made in the most convenient manner. To expect accurate and efficient record keeping despite the computer or any other problems. And finally, 100% guaranteed satisfaction. Enjoy risk-free shopping. We will exchange any item or refund your money without hassle or fuss, whether shopping by catalog, online, or in our stores. Well, if you've been watching my videos, reading my columns and articles, and blog posts, you know I love lists. I can't think of one of the above obligations that wouldn't work for any business. If you don't already have a customer bill of rights, you may want to consider putting one together. Start with these nine obligations, then add some of your own. Work on this with your employees and watch how they buy into the concepts. And most important of all, if you create a customer bill of rights, be prepared to deliver. These are promises and obligations that you must live by. In closing, what would you add to the above list? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Just go to my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find how to contact me. I'd love to find out your ideas and your insights. And while you're there, take a look at well over 200 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. This is Shep Hyken, and I'm reminding you to always be amazing.